Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, you really join me back on Beyond the Still Sky. Um, we uh, have destroyed the party. See, we put a massive gang gang bird there. So it was meant to be fireworks. So, uh, sorry if you didn't quite hear me and I was leaning backwards. So we are going to go through this loose vent. I don't know why I keep bringing out my minus tool. Trusty crowbar is what we need. Going through the vent. Gate before building. If you say so. Oh man. Forgot how old this shell was. Okay, move. Can't say I'm not a droid of my word. What? I didn't know what I was doing then. That camera angle was really weird. Well, thank you, Joey. Off we go. We're going up here then. What is up here? Right, so we need to catch them, I would assume. I went this way. It looked like Tarquin and Reginald were about to perform. The excitement was bearable. Now I've got to watch After this all performance. All the effort I put in to get that poem, I had to see it performed live. I've got to watch this performance. People of Union City, is everyone feeling aspirational today? I cannot hear you. Once again, it is I, Poet Laureate Reginald Arthur Schnipple, Esquire, to titillate your taste buds <laughs> and waggle your wits. But first, I know you all love a giggle and a guffaw, and making you giggle is one of my favorite things. So this year, I thought it would be hilarious to see what happens if I asked a droid to write a poem all on his own. So, without further ado, I'd like to bring up a very special guest. My very own Fidelis II domestic savant, Tarquin! Ah, yeah. oh, this should be good, folks. <laughs> and don't worry. However this goes, I'll be bringing up the rear with a cracker of my own. Go on, Tarquin! Show these good people what you've got. <clears throat> the city smiles upon us with breath of mint and bile. It consumes our darkest substance, leaving nothing but a smile. The smile is thin as onion skin, and silently it screams. Choose spiteful curses neath the grin and snores with darkened dreams. The smile contains a drooling maw, sharp fangs both rank and black, with horrors just behind the jaw were lips to be pulled back. The smile may be infectious, but the heart is powered by sin, for no one can protect us. From the enemy within. Woo! Well done, Top Queen. Very good. Wow! Wow! Tarquin! That was incredibly inspired. Well, thank you, thank you. One cannot wait to hear your poem, sir. Uh, yes, well, uh, perhaps a five-minute break first. Uh... 
Schnipple, where did your ignorant droid find that filthy, hateful poem? Is this your work? No, sir. I have no idea, sir. Perhaps I should go home now, sir. Yes, I suggest you do. And you can expect a visit from me later. Shall I fetch Sir's coat? Not now, Tarquin. What have you done? I can only apologize for the Poet Laureate's error of judgment. <laughs> Please, return to your aspiring. Well, that was certainly something. I like Tarquin, I just didn't like Reginald. If I'd known that was going to happen, I would have picked the other poem. But we got an achievement for picking that poem, so maybe you get an achievement for picking the other one as well. Obviously, these guys may have sort of run off by now. We've got to sort of find them. Oh, no, here they are. We will find out where they're going. Came from that way, though. I want to see what's that way. Probably nothing. But I don't want to... No, it's just a dead end. Okay, so we're going to go back down the ladder. Yeah, Jerry's just stood there. He's like, where are you going, Foster? This is this is where we need to go. Why, why are you just li quite literally... Um... Alright, we're going to go down the ladder. Hello, Joey. And, oh, we've got a rope ladder now as well. Is there anything? No, we've got Joey. Okay. We're going to go down the rope ladder. This is like the proper lower levels, I think. Jeez, Foster, I expected you to be in better shape. Shut up, Joey, and keep an eye out. We found the big metal that vehicle. Dog. It's the same as the one that stole Milo. Guess that means we're in the right place. Foster, look out! Uh, Arana? You! Arana, stop! Yeah, Arana, stop! I'm not who you think I am. I know you're not Graham Grundy. You've been lying to me since the moment we met. What the hell have you done with the real Graham? And who the hell are you? My real name is... Robert! This is Piermont. Danielle Piermont? Your real name is the Danielle Piermont. The museum. What on earth is a nice boy like you doing in a back alley like this? Arana, dear, please, you can stop. But his mother and I were at school together. You can trust him, I promise. Can someone please explain what the hell is going on? Uh, missing My gift? name is Robert Foster. I've come from the Gap. A few days ago, one of those vehicles attacked my village. The androids were armed. We couldn't stop them. They took my friend, Milo. He's just a kid. This is just awful! I needed Graham's ID to get into the city, but I promise you, I didn't hurt him. He was dead when I found him. Poor boy. I told him not to try anything stupid. This is all my fault. Oh, Rana, dear, don't be hard on yourself. Graham knew what he was doing. So you were both friends with Graham? I didn't think he had any friends. Friends, allies, whatever you want to call it. Graham was working at the land train entrance when he saw one of these things coming into the city. These things? You mean the stalkers? I thought they were called creepers. We call them walkers. Whatever they're called. Here comes another one. The girl in the stalker. 
I recognized her. Ember. Graham was right. Those things are carrying children. Whatever they're doing to them. It's inside that building. Then that's where I'll find Milo. Now then, I must get back to the gala. I fear my absence from the festivities may already be apparent. You two, find out where they're taking those children. Two? You mean three, don't you? That's my plan. Lovely to see you again, Robert. You too, Miss Piermont. Oh, and Arana? Yes? Trust him. He's from good stock. Come on then, Arana. And Joey. That elevator transported the stalker into the building. We need to find a way to get it working. What if another one of those big beasts shows up? Okay, I'll keep watch. Reckon you and your sidekick can figure it out. Huh. We got this far. She was talking to me, Rob. Hmm. Can you see a button anywhere? I don't think this place was designed for visitors. Foster, I have auto-link to the system. Perhaps... Come on, there's no way... You were saying... Hey, Arana, we found a way... Was I actually meant to hid in trouble? Uh, we got there. Was I actually meant to dodge that? I didn't see any commands. So you took quite a hit there. Whoa. What's going? It's okay, Foster. Just lie still. How do you know my name? Don't be afraid. I'm here now. Who are you? Joey. You're Joey. It's good to see you, Foster. Where am I? It's okay. You're safe now. There was uh. an explosion. Orana, what's happened to... Don't worry. Everything's going That's to be That's not Joey. Right. Joey, it's so good to see you again. I should have come back earlier. Hey, it's no problem. Could have helped you. No need, old friend. The Council have everything under control. That's not Joey. But that's just it. The Council. You have to stop them. They're... Shh. Calm now. Plenty of time to talk when you're better. Need to get you fixed first. Fixed? What do you mean? Just relax, old friend. Soon have that smile back on your face. You're not my friend. This doesn't make any sense. Guess I got what it takes. These doors just open for me. Joey, get back! Huh? Don't shoot! Confirmed. Welcome to level 4 UG. That went well. <laughs> I'll say. Are we allowed to be here? I don't think you are. I just got it. The system is finally recognizing me for who I truly am. Joey. Great. That mean you can disable the android? If this shell had any sort of weapon, it would be a whole lot easier. But I'll give it a go. Wait right here. Right here. Brilliant. This is my time to shine. That android is heading for a fall. Well, I love it when your kids want to help you with the cleaning. It's all always so innocent. Right, we're going to head downstairs. Right, go. Can you not go any faster, Joey? Is okay. What does this do? 
It's a Kudos MX-5 security console. These things were designed for droids, not people. Okay. Darn. Stage 5. Bomb, Tobas. Hey, okay, Willow. It's Foster. Just gotta get rid of the android. Ember's in room three as well. Loz, Eve, Holly, Haley, Luke. Myla, that's the kid that Foster came all this way to rescue. I'm just literally kicking. And Nina, let's go. Yeah, how do I get rid of the... I'm just literally going to, uh, because I clicked a load of buttons there, so I have actually no idea what I've just done. Looks like it's monitoring their happiness levels. Okay. So it keeps them happy? Foster will know what to do. What a waste of electricity. So I'm not entirely sure how we're sort of meant to... Can he go faster? Oh, there you go. to know how to get rid of the android um we're just literally following him around at the moment the more time they spend in the chair the higher their happiness levels go well, is that a good thing Room five with um, there's Milo in here. Archived files. Looks like these kids aren't the first ones to be brought here. Joey, what's going on, mate? Right. We we're gonna go. We just came from that way, so. I mean, what is he doing now? Is all he does? He just quite literally goes round the room. Um, okay. Is there anything else I can do on this system?
a bit forced throughout the room. Foster, engage your wake up protocols. No response. I'll have to find another way. It says Foster's an ideal candidate. Ideal for what? Alright, I wonder if there's a way to call him upstairs then. Or we could push him down. Is there a way here? I came here for Foster. He needs my help. Yeah, I know. Hey, Arana. What is it? Have you dealt with that android yet? Not yet. Are we in a rush? I'm a sitting duck here. Hurry up! I don't know how to. Arana. Have you got rid of that android yet? Oh yeah, right. My plan. Okay, so I had to go for um, I had to get away from the screen because I was getting a bit stressed, but uh, I am going to use a hint. The chairs have an electrical force for protecting a button. You just have to be able to press that button. What? All right. Let's go. Let's go and have a look what it means by... Okay, what happens when I press? So I'm going to press number one. The more time they spend in the chair, the higher their happiness levels go. I'm going to press number one in number one and see what happens. Five, I think it's... Not underneath. Giving me an option to use it. With the power off, I might have more luck getting to that button. Yes, I don't know how to turn the power off though. Okay, hint. The console in the main room can power down empty chairs, but the Android will return to the console to turn the power back on. Try investigating these chairs while the power is still off. Empty chairs. Okay. any more empty chairs in here? No. Go to room two now then, I would assume. Okay, we're just going to keep hitting the buttons. There an empty one in room two. Yeah, that one. did this one. Yeah. Oh, let me do it again. Okay. 
the one in number three. Chair in number three. Now you put them back on. I think you've like sort of got to wait until he's away from the screen, which he is now, and then go one, two, three. Uh, helps if I remember my WASD key, surely. Okay, got to wait for him to... Then we can do number four. I've only got one in here. And then number five. I think there's only one in number five as well. There is no way you can do all five rooms without um, him sort of coming back and using it. So. Go to number five and do that one. I mean, we've hit all the empty chairs. What a waste of electricity! Saying that, are we meant to wait in here and push him sort of in the chair? He's um, doing something with the thing. Now he's coming back. He's coming in the room. He is. He's going to a chair, I think. Okay, let's go. Uh, we figured it out. <laughs> let's go get a runner. Joey, did I just hear the sound of an android hitting a steel floor at high speed? It was a tragic accident. I found Foster. He's in room three. Yeah. He's just through those doors, plugged into some sort of machine. That can't be good. Let's go.
Wait, what? So you gotta know this is a dream, right? you foster yeah you ran yeah. a safety Jeez. you scream like a child what the joey you look up for foster while i get this one on it i i don't know it's okay we're gonna get you out of here what's your name um imba oh where's pixel in voxel hey i know that guy from outside Come on, Foster. You're making me look bad. Joey, on the way here, I saw other Joey. You mean Joey the Savior? But he left years ago. Yeah, well, he's back. And somehow involved. No, Foster. He wouldn't be. We've got to find him. Tell him what's really going on. Maybe he can help fix it. Yeah. Me and him together. Dream Team. It's gonna take everything we got to bring down the Council. Two jellies. What's not to like? First, we have to get Milo and the other children back to their homes. About that. What? Did you find something? You better follow me. Joey time. We found Milo, so... Foster, there's something you have to see. It's over here. Room 5. Found them? Milo? Milo! These rooms are full of children, Foster. Milo. 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 Oh, Milo. Hang on, kid. I'm getting you out of here. No, wait, Foster! It's Milo. I have to get him out of this. <clears throat> These chairs, they're connected deep into their brains. We can't just rip them out. It could be fatal. But it needs to stop. Shut it down, Joey. It's okay, Foster. We've triggered the abort sequence. They'll all get better, I'm sure. It might just take... time. How long? Days. Maybe weeks? Meanwhile, we've got a bigger problem. We do. How do we get all these kids out of here, under the radar? They've all been U-chipped. System will flag them the second they walk out of this place. It's a U-chip problem, yeah? One of the problems, sure. Leet had a plan. A way of getting a kid out of the city. Something about kudos. His plan better be good. We've got a truckload of kids here. So our objective is updated, so what's our current objective then? Joey and I need a plan and we need it fast. Okay, so talk to Joey. Hey Joey. What is it, Foster? You and Arana make quite a team. She's alright. Hasn't forced me to inhale bird droppings yet. <laughs> You're not still mad about that, are you? I'll get over it. Are you sure we can trust Arana? She saved your life, Foster. I guess I'm just being paranoid. What exactly did they do to you in that thing? I don't know. But I'm not exactly thinking straight right now. Do you think these kids are going to be okay? What do I look like, a doctor? I mean, will Arana be able to get them to the city walls? 
she can handle herself, Foster. Besides, she's got Ember to help. And Danielle Piermont. Mm -hmm. You're right. Unstoppable. Maybe we should try and find Joey now? We've got more important things to do now, remember? The kids. Yep, the kids. Nothing. Let's get to work, Foster. So, Ember? He helped. Maybe she knows what Leet was talking I have talking. to speak to Leet before he tries to leave the city. How do I even get out of this place? That's where Joey comes in. I do? I mean, yeah, I do. Somehow, he's been able to open every door in this place. Joey, you've got superpowers. I always knew I was special, ever since I was a young droid, helping Foster. <laughs> Listen, getting the children out of these labs is one thing, but out of the city... I think I know how to do that. Helicopter? No, Joey. The land train entrance at the city walls. Are you sure about that? It's our only option. With Ember's help, and Danielle's. Leave it with us. So, I'm going with Foster? Arana? You're coming with me, Joey. The Gap Chaps are back in business! Wait! I need Joey to open the doors, otherwise we'll be stuck in here. Please, there's no need to fight over me. But carry on. Keep telling me how important I am. <laughs> Can you get all the children there once I've got the fix from Leet? Why ahead of you? I knew this thing would come in handy, eventually. Arana, good luck. You too. Both of you. See you at the city walls. Okay. So what, we... Uh, I think that's a good time to end the episode, guys. Um, not entirely sure what we've got to do next, but uh, yeah, if you liked the episode, please make sure you hit that like button. If you would like to see more Joey and Foster and Beyond the Still Sky, make sure you hit the subscribe button and obviously the bell as well, because you'll be notified of all the, all the videos that go up, um, including this series and others that we currently have running on the channel. Uh, so we hope you are all well we i hope you're all safe and this is goodbye from me uh joey and foster and uh trinity we'll also see you next time bye